Welcome one and welcome all, baby, to the People's Channel. A place where you can get your life. Orchids <laughs> for dummies. Now, I am Fal Pal Durrell, and in today's video, I want to give you an update on my beautiful Sogo Phalaenopsis Orchid. But you gotta stay tuned. Welcome on back, Fal Pals. I want to show you guys my Sogo Phalaenopsis Orchids. If you don't know who Fal Pal Durrell is, understand that the mini Phalaenopsis Orchids is my absolute favorite and my favorite variety of the Phalaenopsis Orchid is going to be a Sogo. Now this right here, I have two Sogo Vivian's Leaf Edge. Yes, I do. These orchids were from Hauserman's Orchids. I have two orchids that is Sogo's that is in bloom. This is still in its original moss. As you can see, it needs water, but you have that new root production. Uh, this leaf right here is growing. So you have a new leaf growing as well. As you can see, sufficient leaves on this Phalaenopsis orchid. You see this dead leaf down here? Let's just pull it off. Oh, it's just torn, torn all the way up. It's torn. But no new flower spikes and no new growth off of its old flower spike. Let's look at this one over here, which did rebloom for me. It's the same Phalaenopsis orchid, that leaf edge. I got this Phalaenopsis for all of my fail pals in my group. This is our group's orchid, okay? Yes, it is. As you can see, it is time for watering as well. I left it in this original moss and it rebloomed. So fascinating. So fascinating. This is my favorite Phalaenopsis orchid. I just love it. Don't you? Don't you? So nothing growing off of its old spike, but it's still a good healthy spike. You see this area root? I just love it. I love it. I love it. Now these Sogo Phalaenopsis orchids I purchased off of eBay from a grower in Florida a year ago. And while this one did not rebloom for me, it did produce lots of beautiful area roots. Now remember this Phalaenopsis, it dropped four leaves because I moved it from the window. So this is a very spoiled Phalaenopsis orchid. Then when this leaf was produced, it was stuck together. My fell pal Heath from Trees Epiphytes, he told me to put my fingernail between the leaf to open it up. That's what I did. Isn't it beautiful and gorgeous? Such strong, healthy leaves. I love variegated leaves. I absolutely do. Now, this Phalaenopsis that I am showing you is called a Sogo Vivian Coffee. So, the blooms are going to be very similar, but they are a different variety. You know, variety is the spice of life. I would want to um, collect all of the Phalaenopsis orchids with variegated leaves. This orchid as well dropped three leaves. And as you can see, it is now pulling nutrients slowly from another leaf. You can see. So it still has four leaves that will be left. This leaf was produced after all of those leaves dropped off and as you can see no variegation on it it did produce beautiful area roots it did but it also rebloomed this is his first rebloom 
I am so excited. It can open any day now. Even a little offshoot down here that I am keeping my eye on. What is so great about being in my Facebook group with a group orchid is that we all are able to experience reblooms at the same time. Such a beautiful display of love and such a beautiful color of purple and such beautiful variegated leaves. Even if it does not rebloom, it is sure to add some spice to your home decor. I hope you enjoyed this video, Foul Pals. Remember to like it, subscribe to this channel, and ring the bell so you will be notified. Orchids for Dummies. Happy growing. Until next time.